Come on. trying to get to meet new people there's a lot of people here who we have never who have so many interesting backgrounds and we just kind of try to talk about you know if they had any ideas and we found this team because we really we all really were into the original idea of like travelers health uh, my name is Alex Kramer I'm Christy Rizekko I'm Carolyn Chu and we are all here today as Johnson & Johnson employees um, sponsoring the healthcare hackathon for Cornell Tech situations like this where you're kind of in a you're working together as a team to solve a problem. That's what we do every day. It's, you know, it's mimicking what we do in the workplace um, and over the course of a weekend. This is an environment where you pick the people that are going to help you solve the problem in a way that your product is the best for the consumer. Learning that in a college environment is extremely beneficial because when you go into the workforce, you already know how to build teams and the the concept that even at uh, an undergraduate or graduate level, these students are working towards solving these very large, complex goals. It means not only will our world have a better future from a health perspective, um, but J and J may have some future partners right in the future. Like these are ideas that, if if we could have solved them, we would have. So the problem we're trying to deal with is um, patient satisfaction in hospitals. Uh, we're working on a, an app that basically avoids um, basic bad eating habits. Um, we're just looking for ways to sort of add value to websites like WebMD and Mayo Clinic to make it more uh, user friendly. Uh, actually, if anybody has like experience in like dermatology or like skin care, that'd be great. Uh, our goal, I guess, for the next four hours are really to kind of get a base framework for the game up and running, so that we can just start adding in more of these complicated features. Hi, my name is Sam Lampson, and I lead Cerner's Open Development Services Department. And my whole job at Cerner is to reach out to third-party developers and build an ecosystem of innovation. Um, my own experience with <coughs> the Health Hackathon is that several years ago I was actually a student at Johnson Cornell, the MBA program, and it was really rudimentary. I mean, things weren't as, as polished as they are now. We all got together and I met a team that I hadn't really met before, and we, we worked on an idea, very basic idea really, um, but we, 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 it was creative and we pitched it, had a fantastic experience, and all of the members of that team are people that I still keep in contact in my professional network. And a couple of them are actually here this year, I think three years later, um, helping out in, in the role of mentor, or in my case, you know, straight up sponsor of the, of the event on behalf of a large corporation. clinicians face over 100 times a day. That's it. This helps the clinician identify the one particular molecule which fits perfectly for this particular patient. Thank you. A lot of the students, at least that I've heard speak about their problems, they're based off of experiences they've had in life. A loved one or themselves have gone through an experience in the healthcare system where the outcome wasn't what they wanted it to be, and they have a true drive internally to try to fix it. Oh, the hackathon has been ideal for me. Um, the biggest thing which an idea struggles with is exposure. So once you get exposure, you can improve your idea, structure your idea, and as I said, feedback. It's been an incredible experience for me. This is my second hackathon, and 
I feel like I've learned so much just from being involved. The students give you a fresh lens through the hackathon on, on what other problems might be out there that we need to collaborate on and, and look for solutions for.